looking for something that I can fish with that spear. And when I actually, uh, well, I guess I could say I, I crossed paths with a really good friend of mine, Paula. Um, and when we actually crossed paths again in life, I don't know if it happened for a reason or what, uh, but I can say that, you know, I was really interested to hear what she had going on. She didn't ask me anything about it, but I asked her because I was really kind of curious to see what she had going. And when I found out um, about the business, I was skeptical. And you know what? You should be skeptical. I really believe that doing your due diligence with anything, especially any financial decisions, are, is, is really important, obviously. And I really did my due diligence with this. Uh, but based on the results that I saw Paula getting, I decided to jump on in and I jumped off the fence pretty quick. I may have mentioned that in my last video, but now I wanted to actually mention something that is actually more on a personal level. And I really didn't expect this. Um, I was really just excited and pumped up about the business in general. But I'm going to share with you guys a little something about me um, that has been a bit of a, I guess you could say, an embarrassing thing at times. Um, but not necessarily so embarrassing, but I guess more irritating. Um, since the age of five, uh, I was diagnosed at the age of five by my doctor with multiple allergies, but I was also diagnosed with a pretty rough case of psoriasis. And that being said, I don't know if any of you have experienced skin conditions. Uh, it's not fun. You're, you're constantly irritated. It affects your personality. Uh, it can really affect your life overall and you don't really realize it's kind of like pain if, you, if you're dealing with it on a daily basis it just kind of goes by and you deal with it you suck it up um, and since I was five like I say I've tried my parents tried everything for me um, I tried every doctor I mean I tried so many different types of ways to be able to eliminate this horrible disease in my body because that really is what it is is a disease and I tried everything and I got told by doctors over and over again there's no cure there's no cure um, I kind of refused to believe that. I tried my best to try different options. So I went through tar shampoos. I went through everything under the sun. I even, <laughs> I even wore a shower cap at times uh, when I was living in the States with some kind of crazy medication on my head trying to make it absorb into my skin. I went everything from cortisone creams. Um, and, you know, the worst part was is that not only did it start off on my head, uh, on the back of my head, but it actually moved around my body. And as I got older, um, it got worse at times, it got better at times, but it was really, a lot of the time, really um, based off of the stress that I had going on in my life. That was a big component of it. But I really didn't realize what was gonna be the solution, what was gonna be something that could actually not just, I guess, be a medication or a topical, something that I could put on it and my body would just build an immunity to it and a couple days later it would be back where I started so really all I was doing was putting a band-aid on the problem and just to be straight up with you um, I actually have had a pretty wild past I actually used to um, I've done multiple different jobs in my life but one was I was actually an entertainer and when I was an entertainer um, I had to expose myself at times and being that that was the case even though um, I was pretty confident as far as my overall body went. Uh, one of the problems was I always had in the back of my mind that I had this skin disorder. And like I said, at times it actually spread around and it moved around onto different spots in my body. So you can imagine um, some of the worst of the worst with that. So embarrassing, yes, but um, something I just had to suck it up and deal with. And it was no fun. So as you might notice, I'm saying was. Um, it's hard to even bring this to words. Um, if you don't know what it's like to deal with a skin disorder, well, you're lucky. But if you have dealt with one, and I didn't have it all over my body, but it's not an easy thing to deal with. And uh, for the first time after, I was excited to get my stuff. I got a junior and I got an Espa, and I knew that the Ucon was going to be something that would be good for me because turmeric obviously is an anti-inflammatory. Um, so I've used turmeric or turmeric before, but the one thing that I didn't realize was, is that, um, how effective the water was going to be. And with that being said, I think it was about six months ago, I did a pH test on myself and it scared me. I was actually highly acidic. Um, and you know, as you guys may know, cancer can only really live in an acidic state. It can't live in an alkaline state from what I understand anyway, I'm not a doctor. But 
what I can say is, is that I've been actually using not only the machine as far as drinking the water um, at the proper pH, but I did actually jump it up a little bit just to try to test drive a little higher pH and it was a little bit, you know, I guess you could say I had dry mouth quite a bit. But um, what I was going to say is, is that by uh, using the water and using the Inespa, um, it's been life changing, like literally life changing. Um, I can't say it enough, you guys. Um, I don't feel any any skin irritation anywhere on me. Um, I'm 48 years old. Uh, I've dealt with this for 43 years of my life. I don't know what you guys, I don't know if any of you can relate to this, um, but I'm sure there's a hell of a market out there that can. Uh, even just for kicks, I actually Googled something before I did this video and found out that 60% of people in Britain actually have skin disorders of some kind. So, yeah, maybe there's not a cure, but there's a way to change your body chemistry so that your body doesn't react that way anymore. And I truly, truly can say as a full testimonial to this that this has literally changed that. I found my cure. It's Kong and water. And whether that be internally, externally, the Ukon, whatever the heck it is that's doing what it's doing, I'm thankful for. And um, I'm thankful for my business. I'm thankful for Paula for <laughs> introducing me to this. I'm thankful for Darren and Mike who started this team. I've never met you, um, but thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for Roland for jumping on board with me. I mentioned that in my last video. I'm so proud of you, man, because I know you get it. And I know that you guys in the Dream Team get it too. You've signed on to this for a reason. And that being said, um, I know a lot of you are still on the fence for whatever reason it may be. It may be financial, it may be like you're sitting there looking at this thing and going, oh my God, that, that amount of money to do this is daunting. I get it. But think about it. How many businesses out there can you actually do that you can start? I mean, I'm talking like I was a, I was a ceramic tile setter for years, you guys. Like, If I wanted to start my ceramic tile business today, I'd have to go out and I'd have to buy a new truck. I'd have to buy all my tools. I'd have to buy another saw. I'd have endless overhead to get off the ground, 20, 30 grand. And from there, guess what I get to do? I get to work 40 hours, 50 hours, maybe even 60 hours a week grinding, trying to make a dollar. Guess what? To make somebody else money again? Yeah, I made my own money. I did have my own company doing that before. But it's still, I had to work my tail off to be able to make that money. And so all I'm saying is, is that you know, this is a proven system. This is something that is working. And if you can buy a business that has an overhead as little as Facebook ads, or you can buy a system that has a little overhead as Facebook ads in your email address or your website, your domain name, that's what it costs you on an annual basis or whatever it is, that's minimal in comparison to what most standard businesses that are out there. And you're not getting anywhere near the return on investment 